Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Nina Gums. I'm a junior at USC Kaufman and welcome to Opinions of an Artist, a look at the past pushes them forward where I speak with three different professors, ask them three of the same questions and they give me completely different answers. Here at episode two we have Professor Anindo Marshall. You do not want to miss a single word she has to say and I hope you enjoy. What does Black History Month mean to you? Interesting because my upbringing was not in the United States. So, you know, in Kenya, there's no Black History Month. Every day is, is a, is, you know, because that's who we are. But I, you know, when I came here, I realized the importance of that because in the past years, I was wondering why is it just the shortest month and why is it just one month? Why can we not have it in schools? Why don't we have textbooks? And I never really experienced racism, of course, in my country. And I never did in Europe either only when I came to the United States. And so when I found out about Black History Month, I really wanted to delve into it. So I started to study more about what African-Americans went through. And that really got me to understand the importance of Black History Month. And now they're starting to do something after last year's George Floyd situation. But when I first came here, which is years ago, it was in the 80s, there was nothing. Example, an African-American friend of mine finally fell in love with a Black man for the first time in her life. She was now so militant. She wanted her 40 acres and a mule because they taught her nothing in that school that she was, nothing about herself, nothing about her culture. She found out about it as an adult. So this is, this is what we create if we don't teach kids the proper history. That should be part of learning from a very early age because if you wait until someone is an adult and doesn't realize, doesn't know anything about slavery, I'm like, are you kidding me? In my career, meeting and working with Catherine Dunham. She lived through it. She lived through the lynchings. She lived through uh, segregation. Talking to her, the importance of looking back and acknowledging your history before you move forward. It's really helped me, especially with my teaching, because I'm able to um, tell stories. She says, put it on stage. That's a safe way. This is a good platform to teach people, to educate people. Put it on stage. Put that on stage. So she taught me whatever you want to uh, to teach someone as an artist, as a performer, put it in a song, put it on stage. And, um, you know, th and that's how it's enhanced my career. So along with Catherine Dunham, is there anyone else in your life that you believe and that we should be knowing about? We should be going home and researching. The, the other person that inspired me was actually, he was, he was a, a drummer and uh, he inspired me because he came out here in the fifties and his name was Olatunji. I mean, I've worked with him for years and he, bridge uh, the African culture. He's the one that brought African dance to the forefront and African drumming. Uh, he came out here back in the 50s and went to Morehouse, but he bought along with him what I believe was stripped away from African Americans during slavery time. So it was really embraced when he came with his drums and his and his uh, music. So everyone was talking about him in the, in the 50s and the 60s. It was, it was all about Olatunji. So I think Olatunji really had a big impact on me as well in what he was doing. He was also kind of an activist. You know, he spoke up. He spoke up and supported, you know, Black causes. When, he, when you're talking about culture and who bought it here and made it really popular. Before the 50s, it wasn't that popular. You see how African dance is really popular today? It was nothing like this in the 60s in the 50s, nothing like this. And now every, every studio teaches African dance. You know, I teach African dance and even at ballet studios. I teach African dance to ballerinas, but there they go across, you know, pointed toes and all doing, doing cuckoo. <laughs> so I think it's important to, to know about our ancestors because that's where um, we find answers and that's where we find healing and that's where we find purpose. And so the last question, more directed towards our allies? What steps can they take to continue to understand, to celebrate the Black experience? I think it's, it's really important, first of all, to understand the Black person. A lot of times, because of systematic ways in the U.S., things just seemed normal. And we cannot, we cannot change it until we change the system. So I think uh, education, you know, is really important. Learning about black folks you know what's the racism that's been built into the system do you find that you know when, when people are applying for jobs in their business they have maybe one or two black folks that's plenty that's enough we've got one black person and that has been okay for years because they feel that if they have more than three four five that's too many 
it becomes oh too many black folks here you know that that kind of attitude has to change or wake up wake up that's another thing wake up because people have been asleep i feel the system is almost like cemented it's been cemented we have to break the cement it doesn't it doesn't mean you have to go and get one black friend we have to sit and talk and have conversations and don't use me as a pawn you know um delve in delve into it it's it may be ugly you know it may be painful face it it's like you know you have a mirror so you've been looking in this mirror for years it's not clean you have to wipe the mirror so you can really see the picture and the picture may not be the picture you want to see but you just have to face it uh, this, this is how we move forward yeah that is fantastic thank you so much um <laughs> i would wish i had more time and like more questions <laughs> All right. Well, you take care. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? How much you feel? Okay, my love. Take care. Bye.